All right, we're out at a familiar spot today. We're going to do a test of the thermal uh, performance on the Mavic 3T. So I'm going to fly out here, see if I can find some test subjects um, that we can use. And we'll go from there. All right, well, I found some turkeys. Not really what I'm looking for. Turkeys do um, provide a very small thermal signature compared to, say, deer. I'm not seeing any deer out yet. Some more turkeys. Bunch of them out today. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to go get a shot at this guy. While we wait on um, the deer to come out. Man, that's a long beard. Oh boy. That's a good turkey. It's a real good turkey. All right, the deer are finally out. I think that's here. Yeah. All right, we can finally start this test. Uh, the deer have come out. So what we are going to do is we're going to get up at 400 feet above them. We are going to set a pin, and then we are going to start flying back away from them until we can no longer detect them. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bearing, uh, 222, 222. Alright, what's 222 minus 180? 
uh, that would be about 40, right? So what we are going to do is we are just going to start. Actually, let's let's try that again. Now that we've changed our heading. Let's make a fresh bin. If okay. you look to the lower left of the compass, where it says pin 105, you'll see a distance. That is the distance to the last pin, that being 105. So that's the distance horizontally that I'm, re that I'm referencing uh, as we do this test. So that's 500 feet laterally or horizontally. That's a thousand feet, a little over a thousand feet. Okay, I'm going to keep going. It's 1,400 feet, 1,500 feet right there, okay, so we can still see them if we're flying out across this field or potentially uh, open hardwoods uh, during the winter when the leaves are off the trees, um, we can probably find these deer. Uh, maybe not quite at 15, yeah, maybe not quite at 1,500 feet. Um, but easily six and 800 feet in open hardwoods in, in the winter, I'm thinking. Um, so we're going to keep going. Let's go another... see until the point where they basically get undetectable. Um, this is obviously real world. This is, um, you know, they're probably, they're decent sized deer, but these are Alabama deer. They're much smaller than your northern deer. Okay, so that's past 2,000 feet right there. And if you're looking out across a field, um, plains, or, um, and potentially open, you know, um, grasslands or um, even, like I said, in the right conditions. If these deer are on a hillside 2,000 feet away uh, in open timber, during the winter when you don't have the, the leaf cover, you can spot these deer 2,000 feet away. So, like I said, without getting into spot size, and that is based on, you know, your your thermal sensor, uh, how many pixels, and the field of view, and a bunch of, you know, those factors. And you can basically say um, how far out um, a deer, or you can basically calculate the, the spot size that it can detect. And that is based on what one pixel uh, size would be at that distance. And, um, you know, we're definitely pushing that, but again... This is detectable against the gray, cold background, 2,000 feet. Farther than I thought we'd get in this test, to be honest. Almost 2,500 feet now. All right, yeah, I think um, I think we're definitely at the limit there. Um, that's 3,000 feet. And they're technically still visible in these conditions. And again, this is purely the performance of the thermal in almost perfect conditions with which to detect these deer. Uh, it's been overcast all day. Um, it's about 70 degrees. 
So this is about perfect. And we can zoom in and of course the zoom, it, we start to get a little blurry at, at these uh, magnifications, but you can tell they're deer. So if you think about this from the standpoint of search and rescue, right? Um, 3,000 feet, we can detect the deer. So a normal size adult human would be detectable at these at these ranges and definitely a thousand feet. Um, definitely a thousand feet. So again, it really comes down to um, what are you trying to detect? How big is it? And you know, realistic field of view. So obviously, if I'm if I'm flying at four hundred feet. You can see my field of view. I don't know what it is, what it calculates out to be, but that's probably three to four hundred feet wide at this height. I could easily detect deer. Obviously, well, the field of view narrows because of the uh, thermal sensor um, resolution. It's not, it's not widescreen. Um, so let's say that is still 300, 350 feet, maybe four hundred. Um, we can easily detect deer at this height and if we were flying at a fast speed very easily easy to cover a lot of ground very quickly and of course deer and other living things are going to uh, show out pretty good and you can see a hot spot in the dirt <laughs> it's funny how uh, the rocks and the uh, bare spots in the earth will show up so easily. But you can see, we can still see those deer. Um, it's an amazing tool. Uh, something to point out, um, this is the same basic sensor as the, uh, and we're gonna get called home here. I'm gonna cancel that. Same basic sensor as the M30T. And um, so from a thermal per uh, performance perspective, the M3T is going to be every bit as good as the M30T, I'm gonna start backing up home. Um, obviously, you give up a lot of the bells and whistles of, with the M30T or with the M3T over the M30T, but for the budget um, and for finding hot stuff in the woods, um, you really can't go wrong. All right, that's it for this. Um, I hope this was helpful.